What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here and today I was just playing a little bit of Overwatch getting ready to go to bed and then I saw some guy on one of my YouTube videos say EA released the full Madden 17 ratings for every team and I was like well I'm not going to do a video on every single team but I'm going to do one on my team and that is the Philadelphia Eagles so I mean it's fucking quarter after two in the morning and I was like you know what I'm going to at least fucking get this done and render it so I can have it up early on uh, August 3rd so what I did was I basically I was this is the second time I've re-recorded this. I was going to just talk about the ratings. I was like, I kind of want the graphic to go along with it. So basically, I copied, I don't know how many people, but I basically put a check mark or a X, like a red X, if I agree or disagree with their ratings. There's a couple guys on Philadelphia I really disagree with. But for the majority, I do agree with these ratings. So without further ado, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Uh, we got the, the two long snappers, John De Palma, 43, John Dorenboss, the fucking America's Got Talent Magician, 44. I mean, that's that's pretty much a uh, gimme. Uh, Quentin Gauss, Daryl Green, Connor Wuchek, uh, all those, like I said, 57, 59, 60. Those guys are practice squad players at best. The first rating I disagree with is Joe Walker, a middle linebacker, 60 overall. It sounds like he's probably going to make our roster for the linebacker spot. Uh, Doug Peterson has thrown a lot of praise on him. He was our uh, seventh round pick out of Oregon. So I think uh, that could probably he could probably be like a 63-64. Uh, you got Aziz Shitu, defensive tackle, 60. I agree with Alex McAllister, right defensive end, 60. Maybe this is my Florida Gator bias, but I'm gonna say we probably could give him a little bit more. He probably will end up being on our practice squad as he does need and uh, at least a professional offseason or two to bulk up his weight. He has a mo monster frame. He's like six seven, but he's like 230 pounds or something like that. He's built like a basketball player, so he definitely needs to add some weight. But 60, I think they could have went a little bit higher with that. Uh, Josh Andrews with a 60, and Deontay Skinner, 61. I agree with those ratings. Uh, so, I mean, so, first, for so far, so kind of good. Uh, moving on. Uh, we got Byron Marshall, running back, 62. Hunter Sharp, wide receiver, 63. Denzel Rice, corner, 63. And Chris Pentale, tight end, 63. I agree with all these. These guys here will probably practice squad players. Uh, Pentale has a shout to make the main roster. Maybe Denzel Rice as well. But for the most part, they're practice squad players at best. And then they gave Jalen Mills a 63. And this is where I think they got the they dropped the ball i think right now he should be a high 60s like a 66 67 68 somewhere along the lines of there like as of right now from the training camp battle he looks like he may contend to start at corner so definitely playing to his second round value grade uh, you know, he got picked in the seventh round because of his attitude and all the off the field shit like that. But 63 is way too low for Jalen Mills. Uh, then you got McLeod, Bethel Thompson, 63, Ja'Cory Shepard, 64. I agree with that. Uh, Thompson's probably going to get cut. And Ja'Cory Shepard, 64. Some people are overrating this kid a lot. Uh, but he hasn't really used a late, mid to late round draft pick last year, and he didn't play any time. So 64 is fair. Uh, then they give Najee Good a 64, and I think that's incorrect. Good has been very solid and very uh, commendable when he comes in and plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. I would actually like to see him maybe get a 69-70. I think they dropped the ball on this. He's our top linebacker death right now, middle linebacker behind Jordan Hicks, and I think they definitely should have gave him a bigger boost. Uh, then they got Stephen Mean 65 and Taylor Hart 65. I agree with those ratings for sure. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, there's not a lot of, I've totally disagreed with. Uh, moving on. Uh, then you got Bo Allen, 65. I disagree with that. I think he's definitely a 70. He's very solid. He's not really, you know, look like shit in any of his reserve roles that he's played uh, when he comes in for the tired Benny Logan or a tired uh, Cedric Thornton or anything like that. Uh, then they got uh, Hal Vitae, 66. Marcus Smith, 66. TJ Graham, 66. Blake Countess, 67. Jalen Watkins, 68. And Chris Givens, 68. All those guys I agree with. Uh, I mean, Marcus Smith, 66, playing like the first round bust he is. And uh, everyone else seems pretty fair. I mean, Chris gave him 68. Maybe that could be a little bit higher. But I think overall that's probably pretty fair. Uh, then they gave Randall Evans a 68. And I gave this an incorrect. I think that should be lower. I think you definitely swap out Randall Evans with Jalen Mills for the overall ratings for me at least. Uh, then they gave Ron Bricks a 68. and Ron Brooks a 68. And Isaac Siumalu, our second round pick, left Garrett out of Oregon State a 69. Which is that's kind of hard done by for a pick. But, uh, was he a third round pick? Sorry, he might have been third. I don't think we had a second round. But, uh, 69, ugh, could have been better. But I agree with it. And moving on, we're going to start with one incorrect and the rest I pretty much agree with. Trey Burton, tight end, 69. I think Trey Burton should have got a low 70s, like a 72, 73. I think he's going to be a big playmaker in this year's offense. Uh, just an absolute Swiss Army knife of a player. Uh, Barner, 69. Wendell Smallwood, 70. Uh, maybe swap those. I think Barner is a little bit more proven in the NFL. Should get the the one point now, but it looks like Smallwood might end up playing a lot of snaps this year, especially if uh, Ryan Matthews can't stay healthy. Ed Reynolds seventy, Mike Martin seventy, Josh Huff seventy. 
Uh, Matt Tobin, right guard, 71. Chase Daniel, 71. Brian Brayman, special team all-star, 71. And Alan Barbera, 71. Uh, I mean, I agree with pretty much the most of those. I think Josh Huff, obviously I've been pretty critical of him, could be lower. Uh, I think Chase Daniel, Alan Barbera could be a little bit higher, but I can't be too picky there. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, going to my third picture here. All right. Uh, Nelson Aguilar, 72. Leotis McKelvin, 73. Chris Marigo, 73. And Eric Rose, 74. Uh, I agree with that. I think Aguilar, that's pretty much his rating that he was last year. And same with Eric Rowe. Um, Jordan Hicks, 74. That is a fucking joke. Jordan Hicks should be an 80 at the least, man. He is an absolute playmaker. Even his limited stats, man, he was... If he would have played the whole year, I almost bet my money it would have been a two-horse race between him and Marcus Peters to get Defensive Rookie of the Year last season. So 74 is an absolute joke. Uh, Cody Parkey, 75. Andrew Gardner, 75. Carson Wentz, 76. I know a lot of people are thinking Carson Wentz would be a little bit higher. I think 76 is right. As much as I want to be biased and use that to cloud my vision, this was any, if this was last year, Carson Wentz would have been a second-round quarterback. And uh, 76, I think, is more than enough to have a, you know, for a guy like Carson Wentz. Caleb Sturgis, 76. I think no. You know, this is really nitpick. I think him and uh, Parkey should both be 75. I don't think Caleb Sturgis, uh, based on his career in the NFL, should be higher than Parkey, a guy that already has a Pro Bowl, has a rookie under his belt. Uh, Nolan Carroll, 76. I agree with that. Man, our corners are not looking great for Madden Wise and in real life. Um, then they get Jordan Matthews at 78. I think that should be higher, man. This guy here is almost a 100 reception, 1,000 yard receiver. I would have gave Jordan Matthews an 81, 82. Um, but I mean, 78. Uh, no, I, I can't even really justify 78. Benny Logan 78 is probably the worst rating of them all. I think Benny Logan and um, Jordan Hicks are the two guys we have that get hoard. Benny Logan's at 84, 85 all day long, man. He's one of the best. He was one of the best 3 4 run stopping defensive tackles. He's going to absolutely destroy in that 4 3 Jim Swartz uh, alongside Fletcher Cox. So, I mean, that got hoard. That should definitely be at least five more points added on to Benny Logan's overall. Uh, Bradford, 78. Wisniewski, 79. Donnie Jones, 79. Vinnie Curry, 79. And Selleck, 79. I agree with all those. I think Vinnie Curry could be a little bit higher. But based off last season's stats, man, he didn't find the field a whole lot. Only had a sack. I uh, can't really give him, you know, that much higher rating on potential. Uh, I think that uh, overall I have to be, you know, pretty much in agreement with EA there. Brandon Brooks, 80. That's kind of disappointing. He seems like he's been like a lock for like 84, 85 in the last couple of Maddens on the Texans. So why the downgrade, bruh? I would have gave him, you know, I would have assumed being the big-time free agent, probably the second-best guard outside of uh, Khaleesi Assembly in this year's free agency class. He'd be at least an 83. Uh, Darren Sproles, 81, I agree with. Rodney McLeod, 81. I think that probably should be up to about 83, 84. Uh, and moving on to the last, the home stretch here, uh, number one. Uh, Ryan Matthews, 82. Connor Barwin, 84. Kendricks, 85. And Kelsey, 85. I agree with all of those. Uh, I don't really think there's a show for much of one of those guys to be higher. Maybe Kendricks could be a little higher, but his performance last year, man, he was kind of average. Uh, Lane Johnson, 86. I think that should be a little bit higher. I think Lane Johnson should probably around an 88. And Jason Peters, uh, 87. I first I had this as a check mark. I thought I kind of agreed with it because it was a little bit of a down year. But he's still you know, looking at some of the other older players that didn't really perform uh, as good as they had in years past last season. They still got 90. So I think Jason Peters probably should have been an 89-90 for me. Uh, Zachert's 87, I agree with. Brandon Graham, 92. I actually think that's a little too high. I think Brandon Graham should probably be in the 87-88 range. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins, 93. I think that's a fair rating. And Fletcher Cox, 93. As I already talked about in the top five defensive tackles, uh, I think that should probably Fletcher Cox should probably be in 95. 94-95, uh, one of the best. He, I think he will prove this season that he is the best 4-3 defensive tackle. And, yes, I do know Aaron Donald is there. I'm a big fan of Aaron Donald, but I'm a bigger fan of Fletcher Cox. I think he has the potential to do it, especially, uh, you know, being in that Jim Swartz 4-3. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick rundown of the Philadelphia Eagles starting day. Bad at 17 rosters, official ratings. Uh, let me know what you guys think about in the comment section below. I assume a lot of you guys are going to be similar to me and disagree with some ratings and agree with most. So let me know about that. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're new. There's going to be lots of Madden 17 content, lots and lots of Eagles Madden 17 content. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do this for any other team. I don't really think I will end up doing it, but if I do, I will only do a few select teams if there's, like, there's a team that's really more requested than others. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, it's your boy C4 saying I'm going to fucking bed, and peace out, motherfuckers.